Come on. Dante had fetched his keys from the office and looked ready to yank me out the door. Oh, he's so concerned about us. The pain in my finger got pretty unbearable on the drive to the hospital. Probably because I was applying firm pressure to it with the cloth at Dante's insistence. I couldn't really focus on much outside of how miserable I felt. Dante was even having to answer the doctor's questions for me. I had to get a tetanus shot, but mostly because I had not had one since high school. Dante was also right about the stitches. I was still in a bit of a haze as we walked back to Dante's car. I could hear him talking to me, but I wasn't really registering what he was saying. It wasn't until we were out of the parking lot, and he said my name several times that I responded to him. Sorry, I'm a little out of it. No kidding. Did you even hear what the doctor told you? Uh... You need to keep the wound covered until the recheck in two days. Keep it clean with antibacterial soap and keep it dry. I could feel myself zoning out on him. Dante decided to snap his fingers in my face to keep my attention. Hey! I'm listening, sorry. Keep it clean and covered. And dry. And dry. And take the antibiotic he prescribed you. I got antibiotics? Yes. Do you need me to help you get them filled? Dante sounded a little con condescending there, but then I was acting like a stunned child. No, I can handle it. Thanks for the help. You do it for me. Oh, Would I have? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be the injured, sleep-deprived one, so I probably would have handled it way better. But then I wouldn't be in this mess to begin with if not for him. It was a little unfair to blame him for being stupid enough to not sleep and then come into a job that requires I deal with knives and fire. I laughed. What? I don't think I've ever gotten this worked up over a girl. Uh, what? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, but since I already had, had, but since I, already had I figured I'd explain it. I was up all night thinking about you. Dante got really quiet, and when I turned my gaze from the window to him, I could see how red his face had gotten. Was he mad or embarrassed? Either way, it was awfully cute. I don't think I'd ever considered a guy cute before. Did that make me gay or not? Uh, at least bisexual. At least. Maybe I was just willing to be gay for Dante. Which, you know... I think that's, I know that's a thing. Several of people that I know are, I know people who are, for example, um, consider themselves straight, but there's like, they're not necessarily attracted to the opposite gender, like per se, but there might be a specific person, you know, a specific person who happens to be the opposite gender that they are attracted to, and they, you know, that it might not sound like, like it made sense for you, but I mean, who are who am I to tell someone whether, you know, whether they're right or wrong? I mean, they're the only ones who know what they're feeling, right? So I'm not about to tell someone that that's that's not really true, or it's all your in your head. But I feel like there are people who are attracted to the person and not necessarily the gender. You know, they're attracted to the person and legitimately, you know. You, I guess you could still refer to them as queer, but, you know, for all intents and purposes, they, they mostly are attracted to one gender, but then there might be a, be a specific person that they could be gay for. It's... I believe that, that that's an actual thing. I believe that actually exists. Maybe I was just willing to be gay for Dante. Would I be able to go all the way with him? What would that even be like? Where would we position things? Oh, I mean, it's so... that's so cute. This is... This is kind of realistic, a little bit. Like, when you're realizing that you might be gay for someone, you've got all these, like, questions. They're like, oh, uh, how would this work? Like, would you expect me to be on the bottom? I'm not really... I'm not sure I could really do that. Wow, this game really went there. Uh, and, wow, I'm actually impressed. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised and impressed that the game is, you know, is, is going there. And And... I don't think it's doing it in a disrespectful way. I think it's doing it in a very mature way, actually. The stuff the doctor used to numb my finger was starting to wear off. It's going to hurt. Well, I've never been with a guy before, so... <laughs> oh my gosh! What? <laughs> you, me you meant the finger. Of course I meant the finger. Sorry, I'm so scattered. When Dante looked over at me, he must have noticed I was grimacing from the crawling pain. Of course he was talking about my finger. It's not like he could read my mind. I was feeling really stupid. That... 
might hurt too, actually. <laughs> oh, look at that grin! Seems Dante figured out what I'd been thinking. Might? Well, some guys really take to it. Oh! Do you? That's... not really something I feel comfortable talking about. But you thought about it, right? With me? Dante grew very quiet, and there was something about his reaction mixed with me thinking about him fantasizing me about that way that was getting me kind of excited. I, I kind of... I, yeah, I can relate to that. I can relate to that. Thankfully, the pain was keeping me from getting embarrassingly excited. You already made it pretty clear you don't want to do anything with me. I turned my attention back to the window. Well, no, it's not that. It's... I just don't want to be the experimental guy. I've already had to deal with that before, and it isn't fun. I don't know if it'll make much difference, but I'm attracted to you too. So what? Being attracted doesn't mean you can promise me commitment. No one can promise that at the beginning. I think Dante saw me roll my eyes because he replied pretty defensively. It's different with this sort of thing. How? Only one person is going to be hurt if it turns out you're not gay. This is very real! Like, this is really well done. I'm, I am very impressed. Re Bravo game. This is really well done. The silence stumped into the car and, and didn't leave until we pulled into the restaurant parking lot. I'd wanted to retort or deny his statement somehow, but he did have a point. If it turned out I wasn't gay, my heart wouldn't really be broken. But, you know, that's the thing about, about love is that, you know, people don't fall... People... It's, it's risky, but that's what makes it thrilling, you know? People don't end up falling in love with each other or end up in relationships without some form of risk, without putting yourself out there. And yes, there's no guarantee that this Chef Hark, there's no guarantee that Chef Hark is actually going to end up realizing he's gay, but you, you kind of, I, I feel like if you care about a person, you're willing to... You're willing to take that chance. You're willing to take that risk. Because what if, what if he is? What if they, they end up being a thing? And what if it ends up being, if not a long-term relationship, but what if it ends up being the, they end up being the one, the ones for each other? You, you don't know. You know? Yeah, it might end up with heartbreak, but at least, at, at least you know. I feel like I would at least try and know for sure that it didn't work out, then not try. And not, and always wondering if it would have worked out, you know? At least not as broken as his. But what if I was gay? How would I even figure it out if he didn't give me a chance? I didn't want to just find another guy to go play around with. I want, yeah, he wants Dante. Not just anyone. Dante just sat in his car after he parked. Was he waiting for me to get out to walk to mine? He had a very serious expression on his face and he wouldn't look my way. Okay. What? I'm not being very fair. I mean, everyone needs their first. If not for Kyle, I'd never have learned anything about myself. So... But I want to take it slow, okay? No, yeah, of course. And I mean, minus the fact that he happens to be my employee. Which, you know, there's... That might not be necessarily... That might be kind of taboo. But... It's a... It's a game, guys. It's a... It's a dating sim. Guys, come on. No, yeah, of course. I laughed a little. I always go slow anyway. Right, so... When do you want to? Want to... Oh! Uh... I'll... Call you? Sure. I decided to let Dante off the hook and then got out of the car. I was finding myself pretty stoked over the idea of going out with Dante. I even sang along with the radio as I drove home. Oh, this is so cute! Though that was also partly to keep myself from falling asleep. Not that my finger would likely let me. That was cute. I liked that. So one thing that I noticed about this game, guys, is that um, the game kind of locks you out. It seems that the game locks you out um, from pursuing someone specifically if you diversify your socialization so I thought this was one of those games just like Dream Daddy for example where you could try to socialize with everybody and then come up with a final decision but it seems like certain things it feel I, I could be wrong but it almost seems like a lot of the Dante stuff didn't start popping up because I kept 
you know, talking to other people. Somebody, if somebody can confirm this for me, but that's what I've noticed. I had to, I had to replay the game again from the beginning to test the theory, and I don't know if it's, I don't know if I've completely tested to prove that it actually is true, but it seemed like, you know, when I got to the scene with Dante and then started, you know, I started talking to Dante and then I started talking with Claire or I started talking with, you know, Paul, his, like, the checking on Dante parts, you know, that, that normally occur in the actions started to go away. And um, I don't know why that's the case, because I remember my original playthrough, the Dante stuff kept going like one after another, and I think it's because I specifically was clicking on him, you know, as soon as I saw it, I would click on him and give him priority, and then my during my next playthrough, or th I tried to, um, I talked to Dante and then I talked to Claire, and then Dante didn't pop up, like, at all. At, like, you know, at all, I, I, because I talked to Claire and then I think I talked to Paul, and there was just no more check on Dante's anymore. Uh, so I feel a little gypped about that. So, so just as a warning for you guys, at least the way the game seems to be playing right now is if you like a character specifically, you probably should try to focus on that character. And they technically should show up the check on X character daily. You should be able to click on them daily and have them advance there path, I guess, because because um, with with Dante, I just kept clicking on him every single day, and eventually got the scene that I got. So, all right, let's check on Dante again. I have discovered so much about myself in such a short period of time. I'm not sure if I should be elated or confused, to be honest. I was really growing to like Dante, and this newly discovered attraction is pretty exciting. But was it just because it was new or forbidden in a way? Sure, we've been dating, but Dante hasn't made any moves on me. Was he afraid he might scare me off? Would he? Other than calling out orders and letting one another know how long something needs to be done, we haven't really spoken much today. I could fix that, but I'm at a loss on what to talk about, other than us anyway. And I was trying to, 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 bring, up, to bring that up all the time. That would get pretty annoying. Table 3 sent their dish back. I wasn't facing the counter, but I could hear Katie set the plate down. Dante had handled that table on his own, and this was the first time anything of his was sent back. What? Dante glided past me to the counter. I could just picture him looming over the, his, over the plate, his tall frame covering it in shadow as he exclaimed, examined the contents. It's fine. They said it was too tough. They don't know what they're talking about. I turned my head to see Dante trying the food himself. Did you overcook it, maybe? Dante swiftly stood upright with intimidating indignation. Uh-oh. Of course not. I watched Katie try it herself. I think you might have. What do you know? You're just a server. Okay, Dante, stop being a jerk face. Come on. Katie put her hands in the air as a sign of defeat. She turned her attention to me. Apologize to them and tell them we're remaking it. Sure thing, boss. Dante glared at me as Katie left. Dante, don't make me the bad guy here. There is nothing wrong with it. Well, the customer thinks there is. It's just easier to remake, remake it. Fine. Dante moved to his station and started to prep the dish. I'll do it. Focus on finishing the one you're already doing. You're already doing. Just because we're dating doesn't mean you have to coddle me. I heard something meaty hit a cutting board and realized it's been Dante's fist when I looked. He seemed really put out. I'm just doing it because I'm not doing an order right now. Calm down, Dante. I tried to hold back the laugh that was bubbling up. I wasn't sure why seeing Dante so worked up was funny to me. Maybe because he looked so cute. Oh, me, me laughing just made it worse. I can handle it. His in insistence was so serious that it made me laugh more. Dante's face started getting red. He really looked ready to punch me. Sorry, I laugh when I'm nervous. Well, stop it. I managed to hold back the laughter that commented prompted, but so, but doing so just ended up causing snorting noises. Dante silently started on the dish. Surprise Dante with some affection. Ask Dante with such an attitude today. Just ignore Dante for now. Surprise Dante with some affection. It was then that I got a pretty mean idea. With the stealth of a cat, I slipped behind Dante and grabbed him around the waist. The yelp that he made was adorable. What are you doing? Reasonably, he sounded pretty angry at me, but I didn't let go. I told you I'd make it. But if you're going to be stubborn, 
I slipped my hand down his arm and over to the knife that was sitting by the cutting board. Whoa, this is starting to get really kinky. My other arm stayed around his waist and I, as I gripped it. What are you even doing? You can't possibly cut something properly like that. Yeah, I already cut my finger before. Chef Hark, be careful with that. Well then, I guess you're going to have to help me. I purred that right into his ear, which wasn't very e easy since he was taller than me. Just let go of me and do it right. Dante's voice was starting to crack, which really just egged me on. Make me. Dante twisted himself around so I couldn't keep my grip on his waist. It was so forceful and sudden that if I hadn't quickly used the I He's doing this while I have a knife in my hand. Come on, boys. Come on, guys. <laughs> You've already been to the hospital and gotten stitches and antibiotics once. Come on, guys. If I hadn't quickly used the newly freed hand to grip the counter, I would have probably fallen over. My reflexes ended up making me look a lot smoother than I actually was, because now I had one arm on either side of him and he was pretty much pinned. I smirked at him, my eyes locking into his with willful defiance. Dante moved in quickly and wiped that smirk off my face with a kiss. I was kissing a man. I was kissing Dante. It was way better than kissing a woman. <laughs> oh my gosh. Amen to that, Angel. <laughs> Amen to that, Chef Hark. Or maybe that was just me. We probably wouldn't have stopped if we hadn't heard a feminine voice go, Aww. I quickly pulled away from Dante to see Katie at the counter. It's about time. She smiled at us and sat down on the ticket with our next order on it. I cleared my throat and pulled away from Dante to fetch it. By the time I turned around to read it, he was already back to work. Just looking at him, you wouldn't know anything had happened at all. Save for a smile, anyway. Aww. With the lunch rush finally dying down, Dante and I had some time to breathe. I thought about bringing up what happened earlier, but decided to just do a quick reenactment of it when he left for lunch. My plan got interrupted by a sudden visitor coming to the kitchen from the back door. She was an older woman with thick black hair tied in a bun, intense brown eyes, and a paper sack in her hands. Stranger I am, sorry to bother. I bring lunch for my boy, he forgot it at home. Her accent was thick and unmistakably Italian. She must have been Dante's mom. <gasps> I'm meeting the parents. He just went into my office to eat. I pointed her to where my office was. Mamina? Dante stepped out of my office pretty quickly. He probably heard her talking to me. Is this the boy? Mamina gestured at me with a flourish that made the gold bracelets on her wrist jingle. Yeah. Mamina put the sack on the counter and hurried up to me. With a bright smile, she grabbed my cheek and pulled it. Such a handsome one, too! You do so good! I laughed, which only served to embarrass Dante more. Mama, please. I'm meeting the parents, or at least one of them. He rushed over to pull her away from me. You brought my lunch. You can go home now. Oh, figlio mio, mi stai spezando il cuore. cuore. I couldn't understand what she said, and I couldn't pronounce it either. But I knew she was being dramatic, what with, with how wounded Mamina looked. Dante rolled his eyes at her. I laughed again, but I was abruptly stopped when I saw my own mother being led in from the dining room by Katie. Right in here, Mrs. Angel. Mom? Is this a bad time, Hark? I know I'm not invited, but I was in the neighborhood, and... You are... You are mother? Mamina rushed up to my mom and I was surprised she didn't, she didn't hug her. Wow, our parents are meeting each other now. This is going really fast. How about you, Dante? You have such a good boy. We only just met, but it's okay. The praise had made my, had made my mom beam with pride. Why, thank you. Uh, who are you? I am Concetta, Dante's mother. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Concetta, or Concetta. Please. Coco? Okay, Coco. Are we going to be good friends, yes? You call me Coco. Ah, all right, Coco. As amusing as it was to see my mom get increasingly uncomfortable with how friendly the stranger was, I probably needed to interrupt before. Our boys, they make nice couple, don't they? What? We could have, should have lunch. We can talk about wedding. Oh, my mom, I didn't come out to my mom yet, did I? Mamina. Coco laughed, which made my mom laugh a little, but she was mostly confused. She looked at me for an explanation, which I really didn't have for her. A surprise, Mom! I'm bisexual. I just shrugged. Dante rushed over to his mother and started to guide her to the exit. You've done enough, Mama. Just go home. 
Fine, fine. You coming home for dinner? Yes, drive safe. With Coco out the door, I should have been able to relax, but I still had to deal with my own mom. What a strange woman. Dante grabbed the sack she left and retreated to my office. Oh, thanks, Dante, leaving me to fend for myself. I didn't blame him. Um, Mom, I have something to tell you. What is it? You're not going under already, are you? No, I just... Well, Dante's mom said that stuff because, well, we are a couple. I'm... Sorry? We're dating, Mom. I'm... gay. Mom blinked at me. For the first time in my life, I'd stunder into silence. I really wish I hadn't. This is kinda cool! I, I'm actually coming out to my parent, to my mother in this game. That's pretty amazing. Mom? I just came in to stop by, so I'll be going now. Okay, that's pretty much how my, my actual mom, how she reacted for the most part give or take, when I first came out to her, so that's pretty accurate. I watched Mom walk out with a pit in my stomach. I continued to stare at the door she left through long after she was gone. Ugh, I shouldn't have said anything. It's not like she was taking that woman seriously. Well, uh, uh, you, she needs to find out sooner than later, so the sooner she knows, I think, at this point, the better. Why did I tell her? Uh, this was a mistake. I think it was fine. I was lucky. What the... Did Dante leave the office? When when did Dante leave the office? I already gave I already have a gay uncle, so my parents are pretty understanding. It's it'll be fine. My folks are pretty traditional, but well, it'll be fine. She seemed nice. Yeah. For once I actually was actually hoping for the silence that followed Dante around when we worked. I was pretty happy to get it, even if it was awkward. I wasn't expecting to hear from my parents so soon. But my phone was ringing, um, and there was Mom's name flashing me. I think that was the achievement for finishing, uh, yes, finishing Dante's path. I answered it quicker than I usually did. Mom, your father and I have been talking. Oh, uh, and we're okay with you and whatever you want to be. I knew that boy was gay. I told you, Mom name. <laughs> That's so cute. Honey, why else would he want to be a cook? Oh, come on, game! I know that that was a... I know the game did that as a joke, but oh, gosh. I should have been offended, but I was too happy that this was all working out. Thanks. Don't thank me. There's no gay in my family. You got that from your mother. Oh my goodness, game! Really, game? Honestly, dear, I don't know what to do with you sometimes. I think my dad was joking. I think. Right. I mean, it's realistic. I mean, it's realistic, so... I'm just shocked and surprised that the game actually included that, that like, coming out to your parents in this, too. But, I, you know, it's... I... I think it's great. I think it's great. Right. You're just going to have to adopt to some grandbabies. I mean, there's also surrogacy, too. Grand, it's a little too early for that. It's never too early to plan, and you have to get the ball with get on the ball with adoption. Oh, <laughs> dear, you're you're preaching to the choir. I know from from experience. You have to prepare that for years in advance. Oh, I know, I know. But don't worry, I'm going to email you some information and websites you need to look at. There was really no point in arguing with her. Uh, thanks. We're gonna be late, dear. Right, we have to go, sweetie. You take care of yourself. I will. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you too. Bye. And with that, Mom hung up. Got a little annoying at the end, but at least I was able to sleep tonight. Nice. Ugh. Nice. I finished Dante's. That's was, that was pretty awesome, guys. That was very sweet. Look at that. Look at that. That was pretty, pretty sweet. I'm going home, Chef. Dante smiled at me from my office door. I couldn't keep myself from smiling back. Do you have to? I feel like it's been a while since we've done anything. Sorry, family dinner. I'd invite you, but it'd be last minute. And my sister hates last minute guests. Oh, I'm glad I'm getting these secret, these these extra extra scenes at the end. Um, w now that we're dating Dante, that's pretty cool. Aw, do I really need invitation? I'm your boyfriend after all. I was teasing, but this. But the suddenly serious look on Dante's face made it pretty clear he didn't realize that I was. 
I was joking, Dante. We haven't been dating nearly long enough for me to just barge in on your family stuff. Mamina keeps asking me to bring you. Dante said that pretty stiffly, like he was hesitant to even bring it up. What, you think I wouldn't want to go? No. Dante couldn't hold his eye contact with me. I... don't want you to. I was kind of surprised by that. I mean, Dante's family was really important to him. Why wouldn't he want me to meet them properly? I mean, I've already met his gram... his... his Nana and his... you know... his... his Nana and a bunch of the kids, too. I'm... paranoid, I suppose. Which is realistic! Again, mad props to this game for the realism. You think we wouldn't... You, you think we won't get along or something? I'm, I'm usually pretty good with families. For your girlfriends. That... Okay, that isn't fair. Of course it was with my... With my girlfriends. You're the first guy I've ever been with. And the last? What? If we broke up, would you keep dating men? That was an absurd question. That I didn't have an answer. That I didn't have an answer for. I think it's an honest answer. Would I really keep dating guys? I mean, I was gay. But then I wasn't really attracted to other men. Just Dante. Oh, that's so cute. That's so sweet. I wasn't really attracted to other men, just Dante. You're worried that I'm just gay for you? That's kind of... I think that's kind of flattering, don't you think? Dante paused, but still would look at me. I thought about that, yes. After the shock wore off, I was actually starting to feel angry. Indignant, even. Well, what does it matter? I stood up and hit my hands against the desk. Not really the best call, as it sent a sharp pain up my left wrist, but I was just angry enough to ignore it. Who cares if I'm gay or not? I love you! I love you! Every morning, I get up and open those doors, and I look forward to seeing you. When I think about, when I think about what's going to happen in the future, and if I may ever need to close these doors for good or open up new ones, I picture doing it with you. The last person I ever felt any of that stuff with before I was going to marry. Uh, before I was going to marry, I w would have married until she ended everything. I stopped to take a deep, uh, take a breath and immediately regretted saying that last part. The cold, confused look on Dante's face made it very clear that he hadn't appreciated much either. There was a long silence and I sat back down in the middle of it. I had expected Dante to just walk away and for everything to be over between us. He was always so apprehensive about this relationship that I could easily imagine him breaking things up over that. But then he smiled. You love me? There was a lot of relief in his voice. Had I said that I loved him? I had. In the beginning of all that blurting mess, I told him I loved him. It was the first time I had ever said it. Was that all it really took to finally win Dante over? Saying I love you? No, probably not. It had to be because I, I'd also meant it. Yes, there's the key. Of course I do. I love you too. <laughs> I got the biggest, stupidest smile on my face from that. Enough for me to meet your family? I was trying to make another joke, but after making it, I hope that I hadn't just ruined the mood. Maybe. Dante was giving me a sly smile. Was he teasing my back now? He closed the distance between us and moved in for a kiss. This was the first time he'd actually moved in for one himself. I was kind of proud of him. I have to go, though. My sister will insist that everyone wait for me to get there before they start eating. I got you. I have a lot of paperwork to get done myself. Dante's smile grew warm and he promptly left. I actually started humming as I started poring over all the numbers in front of me. So guys, that was Kulina Hands in the Kitchen. And I had a... This was a really fun, fun game. I was... Okay, oh, look! Look who it is! It's Dante! Oh, Dante! I think, I think they added Dante there because he ended up as a romance. That's so cute. Okay, that's great. And I'm assuming other characters will appear as you romance them too or finish their paths or whatever. Um, it's a hard game. It's a good challenge. It's a good challenge though. It's a good challenging game. Um, but um, I really enjoyed the characters. I really enjoyed the, the mechanics of running a restaurant. That was super fun. Um, it never got boring to me, um, figuring out what all of the, you know, diner's tastes are, um, meeting, like, trying to, I like how the game not only lets you attempt to date some of your, um, 
some of the NPCs, but also be their friend, or even fix them up with each other. That was really fun. Being able to see Paul fix up Paul and Lisa together, and seeing them happy again was so fulfilling, in addition to, of course, being able to um, romance Dante. Going into this game, I actually... My prediction was I was going to end up romancing Paul, because it seemed like a... It seemed like um, the best friend from from school, from like college. The best friend from college tended to be, you know, the ones I ended up gravitating towards in these kind of games, like Ian from Coming Out on Top, or um, Craig from Dream Daddy. So I was like, oh, well, here's a friend of ours from college. Oh yeah, it's, it's probably gonna end up being Paul. But no, Dante, Dante, really like, really. Um, I really ended up liking his romance, and it was very believable. Cause, yeah, Dante, it's not a perfect, it's not a, he's he's definitely has we bicker, you know. We it's not a completely completely harmonious, perfectly harmonious. There's some friction between the two characters, but again, that makes it really believable. I was just really impressed by the the really believable scenes and the really realistic scenes and then issues especially when they were dealing with homosexuality i was surprised by how well and how mature and relatively thorough they dealt with homosexuality from you know having a friend come out to you finding out that they were into you trying to decide or figure out if you're into them, having possible confusion of whether or not you're into them, or whether you yourself are gay, and then coming out to your parents, and then, and then you know, finally saying I love you. To it's just the, the it, it was it felt very complete. It felt so complete. Well, I mean, besides the the you know, maybe a, a few years down the line seeing them married, but um, with the game with the adopted grandkids, um, but um. No, it, I really, really love this game, and I'm surprised that it's not more popular. Um, it's, it, 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 hopefully, when you guys watched it, maybe some of you thought it was, it was, it was really fun for me to play, and um, uh, maybe there was a character that you were interested in pursuing as well, and you could, you could enjoy that too. Um, I, I, this is definitely one of my favorite. Um, uh, visual novel games in a while. Um, I really enjoyed this a lot. I feel like this. I feel like this kind of beats Dream Daddy for me. Even I know a lot of people love Dream Daddy, and I do. I enjoy Dream Daddy a lot. But I don't know. I just felt like. Um, I felt like they dealt with so many like issues that I related to. And they handled it so well, and I just love the additional game mechanics. Dream Daddy had the interesting, really funny, and hilarious, um, and very creative uh, um, mini games, you know, th and those were fantastic. But Kalina had, you know, took it to another level and just had the whole idea of managing your kitchen and trying to, you know, resource your time and resource your upgrades and managing your ingredients that that was so fun as a foodie and myself who loves to cook too so fun this is definitely a game for me and um I'm, I'm curious to find out what you guys thought so uh this is not going to be the last of the visual novel games that i'm going to be playing i'm going to be playing two others at least just like this possibly uh, a fourth one if it releases soon that one being el debt a lot of you have probably seen my um my play of the demo, which I've been looking forward to a lot. So, if you like these kind of games, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Of course, I'll be playing other games also interspersed in between. But um, thank you so much for watching um, this really, really fun, really fun game that I love playing. And uh, it's so good to see it's good to see Dante there. So, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, love yourselves and love Dante.